Hi guys, I am bursting with excitement. Today we're checking something off the bucket list and we're doing a dolphin tour. So we're here in Gibraltar and we've just booked a dolphin tour with Dolphin Adventure and hopefully we're going to see a load of dolphins. Apparently sometimes you can see up to 200 dolphins. So we booked this really last minute. The tickets online are £20 each. If you buy them in the actual hut they're £25 so book them online if you're interested in coming. But yeah we're really excited. They do loads of different times throughout the day. We've chosen the half three appointment so uh, we're just going to grab a quick tea and then we'll head off. So we've just grabbed two teas because with the tickets they say that all the bars on the promenade actually give you 10% off any food or drinks that you order with the tickets. But yeah, we're just heading to the boat now, but the guy was just saying that this is a perfect season for dolphin watching. It says a lot of people come June, July, August expecting it to be the best, but September, October, in his opinion, is by far the best. Apparently you can get 70 people on this boat and there's only 21 of us today, I think. So we should have pretty much the boat to ourselves. This was a bit of a spontaneous decision, wasn't it? I know, we literally booked it, what? 20 minutes ago, we were <laughs> yeah. over on the boat already. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know they did this here and then somebody recommended it like last minute and was like, let's do that today. And because this was such a last minute decision, we actually decided to drive into Gibraltar and we heard that it could actually take a while, quite a while to actually drive through, but we literally got through in what, three, four minutes? No problems whatsoever. No, Just a quick show at the passports and we were in. Yeah, yeah, very little traffic. So it's handy, we have the car with us, so I think we're going to tour around and see some of the other sites here with the car as well, which so is going to give us a lot more freedom. Apart from like in a zoo, but that doesn't really count. But in the wild, and this is one thing that this company are really strong on that we go and see them in the wild. They don't do anything to kind of keep them, what would you say? Captured. Captured or anything like that. It's all completely natural. see up to 200 dolphins I was like yeah you gotta be lucky for that there's about 200 dolphins <laughs> yeah they're literally everywhere everywhere it's and they're getting really close to the boat swimming across the side and you can tell where the wherever the boat moves they're swimming towards us so you can tell they just want to play and a bit of interaction and the guides are fantastic they're giving us so much information about the type of dolphin and really interesting things I didn't know before and really peaceful I was worried that you know, I might be a bit seasick or we wouldn't see any, but it's just exceeded oh. my expectations. It's fantastic. Just saying that these dolphins are about a metre and a half long, but there's some other dolphins that come in and might be twice a month. It can be up to four or five metres long, and that's huge. Yeah. Absolutely. They were saying that they're actually really sociable creatures as well. So anytime there is a boat around with people, they actually love to come over and just check it out and see what's going on. So that was fantastic. That was so enjoyable. It was really like peaceful, wasn't it? And we just we were just surrounded by dolphins. It was amazing. And there wasn't too many of us on the boat as well, so that was fantastic. I think there was only yeah. about 20 of us, which yeah. is amazing. No one was pushing past anyone. There was plenty of room to go and have a look and get photos and stuff. So that trip was only about an hour and a half, which was absolutely perfect. You don't want to go out for too long, do you? Yeah, sometimes these trips can go on for like four or five hours. They keep a full afternoon or a full morning, which is great because we didn't want to do as long as that. But we did get to see loads Yeah, of we dolphins. got to see loads. So I think for me, that was the perfect amount of time and it gives us time check out other things in the day as well but I think we're going to keep to the sea theme and I think we're going to check out the Europa Point Lighthouse so this 
this is really cool. We've just got to the Europa Point Lighthouse and just looking out to see, and we can actually see some more dolphins. We didn't even have to pay for the tour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're far away, but you can see them jump out the water. Oh, how nice is this? This is turning into an epic day. Yeah, and this is an unplanned, unexpected day. They say you can see Morocco from this point on a clear day. It's blue sky today, but it's very hazy. So we're not getting a clear view. I can see a mountain just over there. Can you see? I think what, that might be it. Have a look on the Google Maps. Yeah, that's, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, that would be it. So yeah, we can see Morocco. <laughs> slightly, ever so slightly. What a beautiful lighthouse. So if you can't tell, this is actually the rock of Gibraltar behind me, which is where we were yesterday with an amazing day. If you want to see that video, click up here and you may see me get jumped on by two different monkeys. Check it out up here.